Go frog gigging. <laughs> oh, let me turn the light on. Okay. Maybe spear a couple, catch a couple with a pole. Don't know. Hopefully, we get a bunch. It'll probably be really dark for you guys, so you probably won't be able to see anything. You probably can't see my head right now, but. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like a banjo, which is a good sign. That means there's a bullfrog around. There's one over there, right where the spotlight is. Can't see it, but Rayleigh's about to get it. Try to get it with this pole. Ah, and another mosquito just hit me. And you can't see Rayleigh at all. Oh, there you go, sort of. Okay, it looks like we're in an old film. My dad just shot one with a pellet gun, but I'm not sure if it hit. Walking on the side of the beach, and you know, like there's just one right there, and really stabbed it. Good. How's it feel, really? Amazing. That's pretty cool, right? It's pretty big, like compared to most of them around here. Praise the Lord. Good job, girls. One for Ray. One for Sarah. Hey. Now, time for our promotion. Gecko the Frog says Geico can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Frogs are pretty much the easiest thing to clean ever. They're like super easy. Right now we have it on the cutting board and we're about to cut its head off to make sure it's dead. And now we're cutting off the um, legs from the body. Then you want to go ahead and re remove the body. You want to chop off its foot. Don't really want to eat that because that wouldn't be that good. I've heard some people like that, but I don't really like it. Then after that, you want to try to peel off its skin. This is the easiest part, especially if you have pliers. We didn't have pliers, but it's pretty simple. You're gonna put it in a bowl then. And 
rinse it off. It's as simple as that. And you got your frog legs ready to go. And now we're about to fry them up. All right, cooking the frog legs. You want to have about a cup of flour in a baggie. Put a couple of tablespoons of salt and pepper in it. And yes, my mom's putting more salt in it. We love our salt and pepper. Shake it up. And now you want to take the baggie with your uh, already filleted frog legs in it. And put, her, put it in the flour. Shake it up. Put it on a plate. Put about a tablespoon of bacon grease in there. Okay, more than that, I lied. It's about two, three, bunches. how many? Bunches. No amount, just as much as you want. <laughs> Tonight we're actually eating a jar too. That should be yummy. Now for the frog legs, you want to put a bunch of um, bacon grease in there to drown them out. I'm drowning! I'm drowning! Put the frog legs in there and let them be in the oil for a couple minutes. Flip them. Nice flip, Mom. Now they're done. Waiting in at dinner. 20 pounds, the giant frog leg. So, mister, how'd you come to this point and what is your name? Interesting. And what's your name? Oh, hi, Samuel. So, were you a jumpy frog when you were a frog? What it feel like getting chopped? off like your head chopped off and everything oh you felt removed from the world and like you weren't in your own body and like you're out of this world interesting just don't jump in my belly please okay you got that this one is hers hers is really red let's see hopefully these don't jump in my stomach Alright guys, today's verse of the vlog is coming from Psalms 105.30. Since this episode was about frog eating, I figured I'd find a verse on frogs. So here it is. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their kings. So it's talking about back in, um, back in Exodus when uh, the Israelites were trying to get out of bondage and the Egyptians were holding them captive. 
in the plagues that they sent. So the plagues that they sent was frogs. Could you imagine those frogs being everywhere and pots in your hair and everything? That's what Exodus said happened. That'd be terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to put it, terrible. They're yummy, but you wouldn't want them all over your house. That'd be awful. So that's what it's talking about. I just thought that was a good verse appropriate for this vlog. Oh, it's jumping in my stomach. Ow, ow. It's jumping in my stomach. Ow. Stop being so feisty in there. Dang. Boom. Mm. Hopefully they stop jumping in my stomach tonight.